Dorothy? What's she doing showing up here? This is the first time I've seen that, Nikkei. Do you know who that is? She's a pilgrim. Excuse me? We've got raptures invading the Ark, then heretics, and now a pilgrim? Are we gonna be okay? We should be fine. If we look at the records from up on the surface, pilgrims weren't necessarily friendly, but they weren't overtly hostile either. I don't know why, but I think it's safe to assume they're not here to destroy the Ark. They also attacked the heretics. Hmm. Commander, what should we do? I will be waiting here. Contact me immediately if something happens. Hello, everyone. We keep running into each other, it seems. Dorothy. I was invited. Is she dead? For the time being, yes. Her throat was slashed clean through. Such a grievous injury would be enough to kill anyone. However, since she is a heretic, she'll be able to repair herself in no time. So what do you intend on doing with her? It wasn't my original intention, but I'll consider her a gift to the Ark. What you choose to do with her is your business. This may be a bit overwhelming for my first visit, but... It's nothing a gift can't smooth over. You haven't planted a bomb in her or anything, have you? <laughs> what reason would I have to do such a thing? I possess weapons far more destructive than a puny bomb. Hmm. What happened to Papillon? Do people from Eden know about this? I realize you've all been caught off guard by my sudden appearance, but must you keep grilling me with questions? It makes it seem as if you're frightened of me. <laughs> Considering you downed a heretic with one shot, I'd say it makes sense for us to be scared. Don't be like that. I'm not here to talk about that. Answer the question. Papillon is playing her role perfectly well. She got me in touch with the Ark, and she is resting peacefully at Eden. She has agreed to keep me and the Ark connected for a while. Of course, given Eden's disdain for the Ark, this is all being done without their knowledge. So I'm afraid I'll have to cut our little reunion short. Where is Deputy Chief Burning Gum? What business could you possibly have with him? Quite a bit, considering he's the one who invited me. Just a moment. Enoch, why are you calling me? Hello, this is Dorothy. Huh. A pilgrim? That's right. Y you actually came? Don't tell me you weren't being sincere when you invited me. N no, not at all. I'll send some troops over. Wait right there. No, I'll come to you. I can explore the Ark on the way over. And besides, I have a gift for you. If you could put up a map of some kind, that would be more than enough. Uh, uh, okay. Enoch, could you please take her to briefing room 13? Yes, sir. Enoch, send the coordinates to Miranda and me. Done. Huh? Miranda and I will be your guide. Us? And you two are? We're the ACPU, the Ark's police force. Is that right? Well, any chance you can show me where I need to go? Sure thing! We've got you covered. Um, I have a question. What should we do about the heretic? Hmm... 
Carrying her would be awfully cumbersome. I'll carry her. Wow, really? Thanks! Thank you! Well, we better get going. Don't worry, Commander. We'll take care of it. See you later. They'll be fine. If she was up to something, she would have made a move. Besides, the ACPU is a government-sanctioned organization. If Dorothy so much as lays a finger on them, the entire Ark will descend upon her. That's most likely why Polly decided to be her guide. I can't say I'm entirely confident in Miranda, but Polly is sharp as a tack, so I expect things will go smoothly. Yes, the two of them can handle themselves. Temporary repairs to the Ark's roof are almost complete. A deployment of Nika units, led by Absolute and Matisse, is still fighting up on the surface. We have sent additional troops up to the surface, so there should not be any additional Rapture attacks. However, there is still a large number of Raptures remaining inside the Ark. Looks like a whole lot came down when they had the chance. There are still no reports of any Nikkei or human casualties. Everything seems to be going well, and will be sorted out soon enough. That's right. Even if you were deployed, it would be unlikely to make much of an impact. Commander, you want a bite? During the Rapture invasion, while my mind was focused elsewhere, the exotic squad took advantage of that and disappeared from my radar. I am currently unable to determine their location. She is currently at the Massilis headquarters. The Massilis headquarters is one of the safest places in the Ark. So the CEOs of Elysion and Tetra are also with her. Roger. Let's move. I will send each CEO some relevant videos. After I have done that, I will go back to concentrating on the raptures inside the Ark. I will therefore be unable to provide you with much assistance. I hope you understand. I will. So what you're telling me is that the gaping hole in the Ark's roof, which caused raptures to come pouring in, is exotics doing? I took a look at the data that Enoch shared. It's not enough to give credence to our suspicions. However, even though there is room for suspicion, we still do not have conclusive evidence. These activities of exotic have been spread across such a wide area. Crow just purchased a bomb meant for excavation and then registered it on the dark net. Viper is only speaking to her acquaintances as usual. Jackal just gnawed through the rivets, keeping the elevator tied down. <sighs> However, there is a very simple way we can determine here whether our suspicions are correct. Right. It will be easily solved with a brain scan. By using a deep brain scan, we can determine the intent behind their actions. That will give us what we need to find out what role Exotic played in all of this. Why bother with all that? The evidence that we've got is already pretty damning. If you ask me, this case has already been solved. 
Why bother going through all these convoluted and unnecessary steps? Hey, what the? Have you lost your mind? Let me go! What do you think, genius? I'm going to blow their heads off! That's what they get for blasting a hole in the Ark. Good grief. You're always on the Nikkei side, aren't you? Even when they've gone rogue. What? You completely lost your marbles since you came back from the surface? Listen, I know you're not exactly my biggest fan, but do you really think I'd do something as despicable as trying to sweep this under the rug? <sighs> Let go of me. Don't press it. We need to be absolutely certain of who the culprits are. <sighs> what is wrong with you people? Everyone has been evacuated, and the raptures that have breached the Ark are all going to be taken care of. Even a heretic managed to find its way in, but apparently a pilgrim came and subdued it. This is an open and shut case. Why are you all insisting on making this more difficult than it has to be? If someone commits a crime, they should be punished. It's time that Exotic faces the music. I don't think this is as cut and dried as you make it out to be. The blame for this incident is being pinned on E.H. E.H. is the leader of Heavenly Ascension. And Heavenly Ascension is a terrorist organization in the Outer Rim. Do you understand what that means? I don't know, and I don't need to know. It's not my business. The central government now has grounds to exterminate the entire Altarim. There was an act de gression majeure, which left a hole in the Ark. If they come to find that there's even the most tenuous of connections, they won't hesitate. Deputy Chief Dorman is already on the move. He despises the Outer Rim with a passion! We won't let this opportunity pass him by! We need to catch Exotic! The entire fate of the Outer Rim hangs in the balance! So what? What do I care what happens to people in the Outer Rim? <clears throat> I assume this is your telephone personnel? What of it? Are you crazy? What the hell are you doing? Terribly sorry. I always seem to underestimate my own strength. You son of a... Commander! I leave it to you to track down Exotic. We would love to help, but there are still quite a few raptures remaining inside the Ark. We've assigned all our manpower to focus on that. So we won't be able to lend you much support. However, that doesn't mean we'll be hanging you out to dry. We'll have Maiden and Guillotine from the Extrinsic Squad on standby. Should I mobilize the uh, Queen? The Underworld Queen? I thought they were lying low because of all the trouble with Dobin. <laughs> My queens would never let such a silly bagatelle get in their way. The same goes for Mon as well. What do you have in mind? 
I'm going to interfere avec Doban's plans. Apparemment, he is gathering all his troops. I was thinking of dropping by and throwing a wrench in the works. Are you planning on fomenting a mutiny? Oh, heavens no! I don't want to hurt anyone. It will just be a uh, little scuffle, that's all. Okay, I'm sure you know what you're doing. As far as tracking down Exotic is concerned, where are you planning to start? Sounds like a plan. All right then, let's get moving. Good luck! Hmm. Anderson is recuperating at the moment. Nothing life-threatening, but he's nonetheless indisposed. He won't be joining us for the time being. I'll give you the details another time. Good luck. Bon chance! <sighs> How dare those useless hunks of junk! Screw with Macillus! And after everything I did to bring Matisse to the top! <laughs> I can't let it fall. Never. Hey, did you bring your cell phone? Of course. Give it to me! <laughs> Those fools! All I needed was another phone! And I'm back in business. <gasps> Wait. What's wrong with this thing? Masilis' main communication line is down. What? I thought they were back up! It seems that our main communications hub just went offline. It will take some time to repair it. Until then, I'm afraid communication will be impossible. How the hell did the main hub manage to go offline? I believe someone mentioned something to the effect of... teeth marks? What in the blue blazes is that supposed to mean? I cannot say. I don't know all the details. I feel like I'm losing my mind over here. <sighs> hey, you two. Yes? Yes? Go find Exotic. No matter what happens, you have to find them before anyone else does. What should we do with them once we find them? Kill them. Hmm. I'll turn off your inhibitors, so find them and kill them. Got that? Understood. Got it. Now get going. Contact me if you find something. Communications are down, so how should we contact you? The self-detonation protocol is the only thing linked to the main communications line. Whereas everything else shares a network with Elysion and Tetra. You should be able to contact me without any issues. Hmm. Okay. Huh? Master, the partition is open? How come? I thought it couldn't be opened without permission from someone higher up. Not only that, it's super quiet out here. Too quiet. I thought everyone in the Outer Rim always wanted to come to the Ark. But I don't see a single soul out here. Mm. We don't know why, but the main thing is that the partition is open. That means Raptures can enter the Outer Rim. That might explain why it's so quiet. It's not like the Outer Rim has any safety shelters. Roger. Cadet! 
Cadet! Uh, who's that hollering over there? Cadet! Over here! Moran? Help me! There are raptures over here. That was a close shave. I had no idea we'd run into raptures over here. Huh. Do you know who's to blame for all this? You'd better take a seat for this one. It was those jerks from X... Huh? Ah, oh, that makes sense. That's good then. I don't have to explain everything. I'm here to catch those bastards. Since Exotic has ties to the Outer Rim, I figured this would be a good place to start. This is actually perfect. I was kind of worried going solo. I feel a lot more confident with you all backing me up. Someone left this partition open, so this entire place is teeming with raptures. Might have ended up in over my head, since dealing with raptures isn't exactly my forte. What about Sakura and Rosanna? Beats me. They were wary of me and didn't provide any details. Those two drive me up the wall sometimes. They're always chattering with each other, yet they never tell me anything. Is everyone in the Outer Rim safe? Yes. Fortunately, there was a broadcast all over the Ark about the Rapture Raid. So, everyone was able to make it to safety in time. Did you find out anything about Exotic? I've been looking through all the evacuation camps, but they haven't uncovered anything yet. If we can find Heavily Ascension's main base, things would go much smoother. Exotic paid Heavenly Ascension plenty of visits. But they're always moving their base of operations to different locations. I'm not sure where they are now. Most likely. I'm sure we'll find something related to these recent attacks. Even better, those exotic punks could be there. Let's go to the evacuation camps first. There might be someone there associated with Heavenly Ascension. Hmm. This is bad. This rinketing setup is like a house of cards. A single rapture could tear through this place like a bull in a china shop. Don't worry. If a rapture manages to break through, these people can still run away. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Hey, who's the leader around here? I am. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Oh, Moran. I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't have much of a choice. This is the only decent refuge left. What about your kid and your brother? They went somewhere else. The raptures attacked when I was leaving for work. Are they okay? I'm not sure. All I can do is hope. Like I always have. I see. What's gotten into EH anyway? They should stick to issuing warnings or detonating government facilities. Whatever possessed them to blow a hole in the Ark? I heard rumblings about how there was a big attack being planned. One which wouldn't involve any casualties. But I had no idea it'd be something so out of left field. And to resort to suicide bombings? How reckless and irresponsible can you get? It's not what you think. What do you mean? Because of this, everyone in the Ark thinks that we're involved somehow. And now we have no idea when or if the other shoe is gonna drop. Not only are we dealing with raptures, but now we've got the central government breathing down our necks, trying to snuff us out. It's all thanks to the fact that EH comes from the Outer Rim. <laughs> this is a golden opportunity for them. They've always considered us a thorn in their side, and now they can get rid of us all in one fell swoop. I'm telling you, that's not what's happening. Fine. What is it then? It's 
Looking for what? Who are you? Some kind of soldier? What's the military doing here? Uh, uh, we, we don't know anything. EH is the one responsible. It's got nothing to do with anyone else in the Outer Rim. Evidence? Like what? Come on, spit it out. I know you're not that high up, but you're no underling either. If I tell you, you'll leave us alone? I promise. No, your promise doesn't mean anything. I want Soldier Boy here to promise me. But do you even have the authority to back up such a promise? Well, I still don't fully trust you. We've done nothing wrong. This is all EH is doing. Why do we have to be dragged into it? Anyway, I'll tell you, if you promise to protect us. Is that a deal? <sighs> I'm just a bit sad, that's all. E.H. worked really hard. I know it's weird to describe a terrorist as hardworking, but... But she did everything she could to deliver Outer Rim's message without letting anyone get hurt. Unfortunately, that was met with significant backlash, and it only made things worse. She really tried to make the Outer Rim a better place for people to live in. But that's not what everyone believes. If you knew E.H. just a little bit, you'd know that she'd never do anything to harm the Outer Rim. As far as we're concerned, E.H. is the head of a terrorist organization. Nothing more, nothing less. The ideals and methodology behind it are of no concern to us. E.H. is a terrorist who poses a serious threat to the Ark. Yeah. Terrorism shouldn't be justified under any circumstance. E.H. knows that more than anyone. She tried to walk a different path, but died before she could take the first step. It's just sad, that's all. Is this it? According to the coordinates, yes. Considering this is their evil lair, I was expecting a little more. I thought there'd at least be a flag or maybe some statues commemorating their leader or something. These guys don't have two coins to rub together. Do you really think they'd be spending their money on stuff like that? Is there any way to confirm that this really is Heavenly Ascension's main base? Smell it. Come again? Just breathe in deeply. <sighs> What is that thing? This? Just something random I picked off the ground? Why in the name of all that is holy would you put that under my nose? I was curious about what it smelled like. Then why didn't you give it a whiff yourself? <sighs> I can smell the gunpowder. Whoever was here, they were armed. That means we're in the right place. The only problem is... There's nothing here. Commander, I suggest we have a look around. There could be something tied to Exotic. Just a second, Master. Hmm... Something's coming. Ten of them. Ten of what?
What the? Nikes? Who are you? How did you get here? Uh. Who are we? Who are you? The counters! We heard that Raptures had invaded the Outer Rim, and we'd come to exterminate them. Why enter from the inside? You afraid the Raptures are gonna steal something? No, we came for supplies. Supplies? In the Outer Rim? You're here under whose orders again? Deputy Chief Dobin. Hmm... You rotten mother... You're just using the Rapture Invasion as an excuse to come here and wipe out those in the Outer Rim. Dobin was the one who opened the partition, wasn't he? No, I mean... Don't move! I'm taking those weapons from you and destroying them. I'm telling you, don't budge or I'll snap you in two. Roger. <gasps> Commander! Commander, are you okay? According to my calculations, we must have fallen around 33 feet. I never imagined there was a subterranean tunnel of this size. Yes, I saw. I'll contact Anise and Neon. I'm afraid that won't work. Pretty much any signal is jammed down here. Viper. Honey, you aren't hurt, are you? Roger that. Oh, so that's how it is. Are you gonna stay put, like a good girl, or am I gonna have to torch you? And just so you know, this torches Nikes just as well as it does humans. I see you're nothing if not well prepared. This is a secret passage connecting Heavenly Ascension and the Ark. I made a few alterations. If I catch anyone suspicious in here, I can burn them to a crisp. You see these holes in the walls? Behind each of those is a flamethrower, so I suggest you watch your step. <laughs> Oh, honey buns, why are you so grumpy? You used to be so nice to me. Hmm. Do you really want to know? Then follow me. I'll take you to meet Crow.
Honey. Are you not talking because you're too focused on my behind? Or are you and Rappy talking in secret? Oh my, really? What if you ask Rappy to carry you? I don't think that is necessary at this time. <laughs> you are a real hoot. Honey, do you hate us? Why? Is it because we're behind all those terror attacks on the Ark? Or is it because of that little hole I made in your stomach? Hmm. Perhaps I should change the question. If you catch us, what will you do? The Raptures breached the hole made in the Ark. If the timing had been off by even the slightest margin, things could have really gone sour. But we made it happen. And now you've come to apprehend us. In order to buy ourselves some time, we made it appear like Heavenly Ascension was behind it. However, I suppose it was only a matter of time before we were caught. It's okay now, since everyone is busy with the Raptures. But if the entire Ark devoted itself to tracking us down... <laughs> well, I doubt we'd last more than an hour at best. I knew it would all catch up to us eventually. You could have just waited, honey. Why did you come looking for us? Was there something else you wanted to do to us? You're lying, aren't you? If that's really what you were after, you could have had Suin obliterate us with the push of a button. Hmm. So, is there still any hope? For you to forgive us? Why not? <laughs> I see. <laughs> what a fool you are, covering for a terrorist. Are you looking to get a bullet in the head? <laughs> oh, it's nothing really. I guess I just wanted to see how far your loyalty toward us would go. You'll probably find it underwhelming, but if you really want to know, I can tell you- <gasps> Honey, can you show me your cell phone? Come now, don't be like that. I'll show you mine if you show me yours.
If you don't show me, I'll call my friends. What? <sighs> but how did you... Do you want to be incinerated? In case you forgot, may I remind you about the flamethrowers I've installed? There's no gas or oil leaking out. There's no way this entire tunnel is outfitted with flamethrowers. It's too clean for that. There aren't any oil stains or burn marks. Knowing you, I should have figured you'd lie and tell half-truths. <sighs> That's precisely why I said we should solve this with our words. Why are you getting so riled up? Drone has been taken out. Someone as dumb as you couldn't have set up something this complex. Whoever did this, come on out. It's been a while. Oh, hey, Commander! Violence is an instrument that no one wields better than a villain. I've been waiting for an opportunity to put my skills to the test. Commander! Master! Hmm... Viper, it's not like you to make such a blunder. Give me a break. I did my best. You call having your back to them the entire time your best? You should have had them walk in front of you. <laughs> That's no fun. Are you here to play with us, Commander? Commander, are you okay? Master, I'm okay. What about Moran? She wiped out those Nikkeis who got the jump on us, then headed towards the wall. She said she'll stop any more troops from coming in. She also told me to tell you she's sorry for not coming. Okay, sounds like we don't have to worry about her. Hmm... This should have been simple. I presume we have you all to thank for this becoming such a fiasco? You can think whatever you want. Hmm... Huh. Should we talk? Well, that's that then. Fighting isn't really my specialty, but... If you insist. Whoa. Goodness gracious, honey. You're actually serious. Huh? What I miss? Are we fighting? <laughs> I love fighting! Just FYI, it doesn't count if you shoot them in the back. All right, everybody. I can take it from here. Just stay back and provide cover for me. You do realize that's another version of us fighting together, don't you? Is it? But I want all the credit. <sighs> Let's go. They don't stand a chance. You all just don't quit. We can thank all those missions up on the surface for that. <laughs> hmm. All of the flamethrowers have been activated. What are you doing? I'm raising the temperature and burning up all the oxygen. This is an enclosed space. Before long, this place will be like a giant oven. <laughs> How could you? I wouldn't move if I were you. I'm the only one who knows how to shut these off.
Don't even think about retreating. There's fire coming from the back as well. And like I said before, these flames can incinerate Nikes just as well as humans. Are you trying to suffocate us? Of course not. We're in no danger of suffocation. Neither are you. The same thing can't be said for the commander, however. Do you see this? An oxygen mask? So you were planning on taking the commander hostage this entire time? It was our contingency plan if negotiations fell through. And none of you exactly seem willing to speak with us. Fine. I'll play ball. Let's talk. Just hurry up and turn these things off. We're far past that now. Hand over the commander, and we'll give him the oxygen mask. If we hand over the commander, how do we know you'll let us go? You don't. You're not in a position to negotiate. Master, are you okay? Well, what's it gonna be? If you so much as lay a finger on them, you're all dead. Why would we ever hurt, honey? That won't ever happen, so don't worry. So I ask you again, what's it gonna be? Just hold in there, master. We'll come find you. You, Neon, was it? That's right. That was pretty sneaky. But you need a little more practice. I don't think we'll be needing this tracking device. <sighs> Everyone, hand over your cell phones. I don't have a cell phone. You're only harming Honey by wasting time like this. The temperature is only going to rise. Hmm. Bye-bye, then. This tunnel is a labyrinth, and we don't know which way they went. We'll only get lost. Then what should we do? Let's go back to where we came from and wait. What are you talking about? Wait for what? The trekker wasn't the only thing I slipped to Master. I also put a smoke grenade in this inner pocket. It activates when exposed to external pressure. When it does, it erupts into a giant plume of smoke. They discover the tracking device, but not the smoke grenade. All we've got to do is get to higher ground and wait until Master sets it off. They are bound to notice it, and when they do, they'll use it. That was incredible! Well done, Neon. Let's go. Hey, Sakura. What is it? It seems that Dobin will be coming to the outer rim. He's already sent some troops. The entry to the partition was left open, and he sent in some armed Nikkeis that he'd hired illegally. I see. Is that all you have to say? Hurry up and get over here. I think this first batch was just an appetizer. He's intending on sending way more. I can't handle this on my own. I have my own affairs to take care of. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. What? What do you need to do? Something important. The Outer Rim may be wiped off the map. What could be more important than that? Moran, do what you think is right. I trust you. What? Hey. Hey! 
What? She, she turned her phone off. <sighs> hey, jerk. What is it? Come to the outer rim. No. Come here and help me. Dobin. Left the partition open and used the raptures as an excuse to... Send mass-produced Nikkeis into the Outer Rim? How did you know? How did you not know? Huh? Put yourself in Dobin's shoes. Huh. But I'm not Dobin. You've got that right. Anyway, I'm busy. I can't go. So do whatever you want. What, are you doing something important too? So there are some things you do know. Good. Go and fight your own fight then. Got it? Some help these two are. Oh, right. Yes? Are you coming to help? Nope. Just wanted to wish you good luck. Hey. I feel like I'm going crazy. Should I call my men? No. Then I'd really be putting their lives on the line. Huh. Moran. We're toast. What is it now? Dobin is on his way to the Outer Rim. Personally? Yes. Are you there right now? You better get the heck out of there. Rosanna and Sakura really threw a wrench in Dobin's plans last time. The only reason you aren't all six feet underground is that Mustang stepped in at the last minute and convinced him otherwise. If you stand in Dobin's way again, he'll come after you with a vengeance. So what? What can he possibly do to us? You think he won't come after you? He doesn't scare me. Well... You should be scared. He already blames you for many of his misfortunes, and he'd jump at the opportunity to send you all packing. I suggest you sit this one out. Jin. If you're gonna prattle on about honor and all that crap, then save it. The thing about honor is... Hey! You've got some nerve cutting me off. Anyway... If I leave Dobin to his own devices, then everyone here is toast. I have to stop him. You might get hurt, huh? Wait a minute. What? Hmm. Oh, boy. Hmm. What? You really are screwed. How so? Sakura is convincing everyone in the Outer Rim to lay down their weapons. And Rosanna is apparently going to take on all the troops Dobin is sending. Huh. What? Miss, you're making a mistake. We need to defend ourselves. I'm going to make this short. Have everyone put down their weapons and stand by. I will do no such thing. Thanks to EH, the entire Outer Rim is now public enemy number one. Do you really think Dobin is just going to let us go? His goal in life has always been to wipe out the Outer Rim. Apparently, Deputy Chief Dobin has sent in troops, mass-produced Nikkeis. You see? We need to be prepared. Let's say Deputy Chief Dobin does bring troops into the Outer Rim. And when he gets there... He finds that everyone is armed and waiting. What do you think his next course of action will be? Uh. You all need to be victims. Act like them. After all, it's the truth, isn't it? So lay down your weapons. We need to avoid any misunderstandings that might arise. But Dobin doesn't think like that. He won't bother listening to us. He'll just wipe us out the first chance he has. Ah, uh, yes. There's something I forgot to mention. I was in a hurry, so it must have slipped my mind. Huh? Dobin won't lay a finger on any of you. 
The entire Semakai and I are behind you. It's not only Dobin. Whoever falsely pins these attacks on the Outer Rim will have to answer to us. <sighs> so please, for the last time, lay down your weapons. Or else I'll have to do it by force. You know I will. The Semakai and I always get what we want. If you want to test just how strong our resolve is, keep holding on to your weapons and find out. Consigliere. Yes, boss. How many minutes do you need to take care of them? Ah. Twenty mass-produced Nikes, was it? Twenty minutes should be sufficient. Dobin sent them. Unlike regular mass-produced Nikes, their inhibitors are probably deactivated. Don't think they won't be able to shoot you just because they're Nikes. They could be quite a formidable adversary. Understood. Good. Now wipe them out. Very well. Get some of your underlings to do the actual fighting. You stay here and chat with me. Is that okay? Of course. Never thought I'd be part of a gunfight inside the city. <laughs> and in broad daylight at that. <sighs> the only reason we could do it is because everyone has been evacuated to the shelters. Let's see. You said... There were more forces being sent. According to our intel, 50 additional units are being prepared while Dobin himself is coming with 20. That man is crazy! <laughs> Raptures are running rampant around the Ark, and instead of help, this is what he does? He's got some bats in the belfry if he actually thinks he can take down the Outer Rim. <laughs> the notion does seem rather risible, yes? You said he's originally from the Outer Rim, correct? Dobin? Yes. He sang like a canary and gave up everything he knew about this place to the Ark. In exchange for selling the Outer Rim down the river, he brought greater stability to the Ark. And put himself on the fast track to becoming second in command. Let me ask you, why do you think he's chosen that path in life? Perhaps he wants to erase his past. Do you think so? Yes. For Dobin, coming from the Outer Rim is a humiliating blight on his reputation. My thoughts differ from yours. In my opinion... That psychopath just enjoys maiming people. He's human filth. <laughs> I cannot disagree with that assessment either. Anyway, what is taking them so long? Those mass-produced Nikes must be putting up a decent fight. Let's go. It's been a while since we've seen some action. There are plenty of other places we can help at. Yes, boss. <sighs> Sakura. Rosanna. What are you going to do? Prevent any more reinforcements from coming and keep the people of the Outer Rim from bearing arms. There's only one thing I can do. I will halt the attack from Dobin's units. By yourself? By myself. Our reinforcements are late. What? The Underworld Queen? <sighs> Those meddling bitches? Not again! What is Mustang doing letting those mongrels run free? No matter. It won't require many troops to take out those pieces of garbage. To all of you in the Outer Rim who are still alive, listen up. I want you to shoot these terrorists on sight. Now go! All of you! Hey there. Uh.
You guys planning on going inside? Ah, I hate to break it to you, but this is my turf. And no one gets in unless I say so. Interfering with my plans again, are you? If you value your life, move aside. You took the words right out of my mouth. If you all value your lives, then scram. Or try and find another entrance. <sighs> no? Well, it'll be awfully humiliating if you head back with your tail between your legs after getting whooped by a single Nikkei. This is your last warning. Move! Like I said, this is my turf. The only way you're getting through is if you... One, kill me. Or two, pay the toll. The toll is cheap. Let me suck you across your face. It looks like you are coming too. How do you feel, honey? Commander, you're awake! When you're pushed into a corner, you'll resort to extreme measures. Cliché, but true. How about having a look at the idiot box? Tetra Connect is broadcasting live throughout the entire arc. Even in the shelters. They must be preparing for the next broadcast. Before it starts, we should talk. Did you find the Vop House? So you did find it. Very impressive, as always. It seems there's nothing you can't do. How do you intend on getting out of this little bind you find yourself in? We're on the precipice of achieving what you always wanted. We're building a foundation upon which Nikkei's will receive better treatment. Let's start with Matisse. If there was no nymph, do you think a weapon without any coercion would actually fight alongside humans? This was the question I posed to the Ark. And what was the result? Nymph to Matisse, nymph to Matisse. Even those scumbags in the Ark knew it. Unless people have total control over Nikkei's, they would never protect humans willingly. Why would they, when humans only regard them as cannon fodder? Goddess of victory, <laughs> what a joke. It's simple. We were confident that Siouan would do something about it. Having said that, I had no idea she'd go as far as bringing raptures inside the Ark. Regardless, because of that spectacular show Matisse put on, they can now proudly say that Nikkei's are capable of, and willing to, protect humans, even without Nymph. Is that what you think? Why do you think we made a hole in the Ark? I want something more. This so-called Goddess of Victory mantle they're thrusting upon Matisse for eliminating the Raptures is nothing more than a dog and pony show. They're nothing but dancing monkeys. That's why we made that hole in the roof. Unleashing Raptures and fear into a utopian setting like the Ark. I was curious about what kind of choices would be made in a situation like that. People will be struck with terror once they see with their own eyes what they usually only see on their TV screens. If raptures appear in the Ark, everyone will reach the same level of fear. Total equality. You're right. 
It's unfortunate. I never wanted anyone to die. That is why I chose the time I did. Matisse's victory ceremony. That way we'd harm the least amount of people possible. However, Enoch was more crafty than I anticipated. Enoch whisked everyone off to the shelters. To those humans in safety, Nikkei's and Rapture's once again became something they only see on a TV screen. But then the real big bad came in. A heretic. I had high hopes. A heretic is evil incarnate and exists solely to commit evil against mankind. To my dismay, however, before anything bad could happen, it was taken out by a pilgrim. It just became more of a blockbuster. First, it was Matisse's little performance on the surface. Now it's inside the Ark. It's all one giant farce. The only thing that's changed is the proximity. If things continue along this path, I'll never get to see what I desire. I told you. I want to see the choice the Ark makes. Now the Goddess Squad, the ones who gave everything for humanity, who were upheld as shining beacons of hope for the entire human race. They were unceremoniously tossed to the side the second the Ark was completed. The decision was made all the easier because they were all cut off from the Ark. After that, there was the first surface reclamation war. Those who willingly donated their brains to become Nikkeis were once again hailed as goddesses of victory. The campaign failed miserably. The Ark began to persecute the Nikkeis. They became useless devices that consumed far too much funds and resources and had nothing to show for it. That's about the time the term Nikkei-phobia came into being. This was also a result of the disconnect between Nikkeis and humans. Then, the ginormous failure of the Second Surface Reclamation War. The first celebrity Nikkei, Pretty, passed away. The Goddess Fall incident with Model ZX. Every time there was a major occurrence along these lines, people in the Ark were moved. Praise, then persecution. Rinse and repeat. It was a never-ending alternating cycle as to how Nikkeis were regarded. I am convinced that disconnection is the biggest cause of all of this. Nikkeis reside in the Ark, but they don't truly exist. They're digital figments of the imagination, seen only on TV screens. It's the same dynamic as seeing a fictional character in a TV show and loving or hating them accordingly. Why is it this way, you ask? Because the people haven't felt it themselves. The Ark doesn't know the fear that comes with going up against a rapture. Why? Also because they haven't felt it themselves. The Ark doesn't thank. Or blame Nikkei's. Why? Still, because they haven't felt it. They know nothing about us. They don't know anything about raptures either. So we need to tell them. Only when they are finally able to truly understand Nikkei's and raptures. Will the Ark make a real choice? One of those choices might well be what you've always wanted. Greater respect for Nikkei's. Hmm. Let's just watch TV. Hmm. Visibility is pretty poor. Uni, won't we have a better chance of finding Crow in the Outer Rim? We've been wandering around downtown ever since we left. What I'm looking for is here. Hmm. You're not looking for Crow, are you? Nope. Then, what are you looking for? You have to trust me. I'll figure it out. Uni, please, let's just look for Crow. If we don't find her fast enough, then the people in the Outer Rim... Found it. Over there.
Aren't they from Tetra Connect? Apparently, they're doing a live broadcast that's playing in the shelters. Let's go save them. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Attention, Ark citizens! Are you seeing this? A rapture has broken into one of the shelters! Everyone who was hiding inside is dead. The raptures have figured out there are people inside the shelters. No shelter is safe. Everyone must get out of the shelters. If you stay there, you will die. Do not trust the central government. Your lives mean nothing to them. I repeat, the shelters are not safe. The shelters are not safe. I wasn't sure if she had what it took, but she's quite the thespian. <laughs> huh? How come we're laughing? Can I join? <laughs> oh, you got it all wrong. I didn't order her to do anything. I merely pointed her in the right direction. I have to say, though, I'm impressed. That was good thinking on her part. She took a rapture, blocked its senses, and brought it into an empty shelter. Then made it seem as if it stormed in and slaughtered everyone inside. Then again, capturing raptures is that squad's specialty. She's got a knack for fabricating tragic scenarios. Hard to say. Let's keep watching and see what choice the Ark makes. Finally, everyone will understand. What was once a distant fiction has become a tangible reality. They will be able to choose an informed choice that will come from experience. I figured as much. Then let me ask you one more time. What will you do to us when you capture us? Will you kill us? Or will you forgive us? Oh? Huh. Hmm. 
Hmm. I see. Not quite the answer I was looking for. Honey, those restraints won't break so easily. Hmm... Smoke grenade! I should have known. Stop. <sighs> it's a good thing we're not too late. What the heck are you doing crawling on the floor for, partner? Oh, I get it. You use the arcane technique. Tracing a Zisaru with your own body to gather power. This power is forbidden. If you use it recklessly, the interdimensional boundaries could... Just hurry up and untie the commander. Right away. Leave these three to us. You need to take care of what's happening outside. It's chaos out there. Nikkeis, humans, and raptures are all fighting amongst each other. Someone needs to get this situation under control. And you're the best man for the job. Please, hurry. If I may, partner, I'd just like to reiterate about the Forbidden... Huh? Ah, you must be the one Captain was talking about! Huh? <gasps> Maiden! What? How can you... these two extrinsic <laughs> captain did i do good <laughs> you did very good well did i do good <sighs> does she have her hearing sensor turned off correct who told you about us can't remember anyway enough talk let's fight Hmm. Three against one, then, is it? Simple enough. Jackal! We're out of here! You deal with her! Ah, oh, dang. That's right. She can't hear. <gasps> You're not going anywhere! <laughs> Come play with me! 
Leave this to me, partner. Go do what you need to do. the smoke signal are you okay what happened to exotic why are you alone and how come the smoke is coming from up there but you're down here understood Roger. Okay, I'll head this way. I'll go this way. Most peculiar. I didn't imagine I'd feel a sense of kinship with Maiden. <laughs> You're strong. This is fun. This is my first time seeing someone as strong as you. I always had her pegged as an indolent and badgering Nikkei, who, much like myself, had been cursed with immense power. However, when your attack managed to take her down, I realized something. You're really fast! <laughs> I was angry. I was upset because I regard Maiden as my colleague. You've helped me achieve a greater degree of self-realization. And for that, I shall give you the lethal eye. Whoa, what's that? So shiny! Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Within my eye dwells tremendous and cursed power. The power to control all the energy I see. At this very moment, I am scattering the energy in your core into the air. For us Nikkei's, our cores are much like the heart. Right now, your heart has stopped. G -g Captain! To you, I am the Grim Reaper, a killer of Nikkei's. You can never escape me or anyone in Extrinsic. You would do well to remember that. Uh, command... Uh... Right. You can't hear anyway. It's me. I've secured Wild Dog. No, it's not an actual dog. A member of the exotic squad, Jackal. Yes. Right. I'll be waiting. Did you catch her? You're awake. Seems like we lost Crow and Viper. Yes but I was able to protect you and partner. 
For now, that's enough. We failed our mission. <sighs> We're going to catch hell for this. <clears throat> it was an oversight on my part for not considering they could turn their hearing sensors off. But why didn't you use your eye to begin with? Once I use my eye, it requires a lot of time to recharge. We've really screwed the pooch this time. <sighs> All clear on this side. I'm almost done here as well. Let's go get it then. Let's go. We should be able to make quick work of this thing. <sighs> Enemy down. All raptures in the immediate vicinity have been eliminated. Wait, what is that? We've decided to move the injured to Vasilis' medical center. Support troops are on their way. Stay there until then and do what you can to assist. Try and keep everyone from panicking. We're going to be using AZX. There's a station right in front of the medical center. The tracks aren't in the greatest shape, and there's plenty of other things that could be better. But we're diverting all our attention to get these people to safety. No problem. All right, that was the last of them. We administered all the first day that we could, but are these people gonna be okay? They'll be fine. The central government will take care of the rest. Commander, we've just received confirmation that Jackal has been captured. So that leaves Crow and Viper. Huh? Isn't capturing Jackal enough? Crow is the ringleader. If we want to really end this, she's the one we need to capture. Where do you think they've gone? Sure. We just need to search that shelter over there, and we're done. Commander, why don't you sit down over there for a minute? We'll go check it out and be right back. This place is safe, so you can rest for a moment. Commander! Did you bring a present for me? You told me you'd give me some Bop House. So I could have my revenge. You'll save me, won't you? You saved Matisse, so it wouldn't make sense if you don't save me. Someone as kind as you wouldn't pretend to not see me, would you? Yes, Commander. Do what? Hmm. brought it. Some Bop House. Just for me. Thank you for thinking about me, Commander. <laughs> Thank 
you, Commander. Hello, all Ark residents. I am AZX's attendant, Diesel. I will be escorting you all safely to Masilis' medical center. If you experience any trouble during the journey, just ring the bell and we'll be there to assist you. We have several attendants, including myself, on standby. We'll be arriving at the medical center in about 10 minutes. And with that, we're off. Hmm... This is the first time a pilgrim has ever been inside the Ark. That's right. Breaking new ground here. How do you find it? Hmm... Not sure. I always wanted to come to this place, but now that I'm here... I have to say, I don't have any strong feelings about it one way or the other. To be honest, it's not much different than the surface. It's spacious. And it's teeming with raptures. That's only because we've cleared the streets due to the rapture invasion. Normally this place is packed with people. Is that right? I wonder how I'd feel. Seeing a sight like that. You chose a heck of a time to show up. That heretic really caught us with our pants down. Did it now? It sure did. You couldn't have shown up at a better time. The timing was perfect, really! It's almost as if it had been planned. Hmm... Uh... Don't mind her. She didn't mean anything by it. Huh? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're almost there. I just hope we don't run into any raptures on the way. Don't worry. I can deal with raptures easily enough. Hmm? What is that statue over there? Oh, that? It's called the Goddess of Victory. It was made to commemorate the Goddess Squad. Hmm... You'll find these all over the Ark, and they're well taken care of. In fact, every time I get in trouble, I'm assigned to clean all the Goddesses of Victory's statues. I'm not done until they're practically shimmering. Why have they erected these statues? Huh? Well, because... They're the saviors of humankind. Hmm... They're a legend around these parts. They were the best Nike squad there ever was. And... They volunteered to remain on the surface and fight until the bitter end, all in order to keep mankind safe. A lot of the data has been lost to time, so we don't know all the details. But it's safe to say they're highly revered in the Ark. If they're so legendary... How come there isn't that much information on them? Because so much time has passed. There used to be a person who proactively spread the gospel of the Goddess Squad. But ever since they passed away, the information has been lost to time. Of course, the fact that they remain legends has never changed. Could you give me their name by any chance? Who? The person who preached about the Goddess Squad. Uh... Mm. Sorry, I'm not really sure what their name was. It's fine, don't worry about it. We should keep moving! We're almost there! Sure. People escaped the shelter on their own. What about the injured? We're figuring it out as we speak. There haven't been any d d deaths, have there? Uh. Huh. No, it can't be. People killed by raptures in the Ark. Hmm. <sighs> the injured are being rushed to Masilis Medical Center using AZX. The medical staff that was stationed at the shelter are coming, too. I think we've staunched the bleeding as far as that's concerned. Why were the shelters opened in the first place? Someone showed up on Tetra's live broadcast... ...and presented false rumors! 
people fell into a panic and forcibly opened the shelter doors. Then they proceeded to walk direct more into the hordes of rock chores waiting for them downtown. Enoch had locked the shelter doors to prevent this exact situation. But the people manually opened them using the emergency override. The miracle is that only a few shelters saw the broadcast. False rumors? Who... who did that? Who would do such a thing? We're looking into it. We've got a recording of their voice, so that should help us track down whoever's responsible. There have also been reports that the hole in the Ark was the Nikkei's doing. Massilis' exotic squad are the primary suspects. Hey! Loose lips sink ships! Don't fire off accusations when you don't have evidence! I received the data from Enoch. D don't exotics usually deal with the Outer Rim? C -c Catch them and question them. We'll find out quickly enough with a brain scan. I'm afraid that won't be easy. Hmm? We've been unable to track down the exotic squad. What about Enoch? C can't she help? Enoch is busy keeping an eye on all the raptures in the Ark. She has no time. There is no room for error. She was distracted for only a moment, and that caused her to neglect keeping the locking mechanisms in place. The result? She lost track of ten raptures movements, and now we have a pile of dead bodies on our hands. Fine. Everyone j just send out your own squads to hunt down Exotic. Uh. <laughs> uh. Wh what's wrong? The Raptures have spread to nearly every corner of the Ark. The cost to hunt them all down will be astronomical. The same goes for repairing the hole in the Ark's roof. A considerable amount of troops were deployed to escort the AZX as well. Not to mention the ones Dobin took with him to the Outer Rim. S so I'm saying that was stretched thin enough as is. Th then I'll send out an APB. Tetra's communications have levy too to being compromised. Using the central government line would be preferable. But sending out an APB for Nikes at a time like this would only create greater turmoil. Fine, then. W what the hell do you suggest, then? Suen! What? Can you n n not control your Nikes? How could you have let things get this bad? <sighs> I'm telling you to step up and take responsibility. Why is it that every time there's an issue, Massilis is somehow involved? You've got some nerve. When the facts show that Massilis and our Nikes had nothing to do with this. I'll be expecting an apology from all of you. That won't be happening. We have the commando unit tracking Exotic. We'll be getting some good news shortly. It's the... that commander. We've had some hiccups with them in the past, but he is talented. If he is tracking Exotic, then I know the job will be carried out. Hmm. If only a a Anderson was okay, then things wouldn't have come to this. Hmm. Never mind. There's no point in getting into that again. The central government will continue to provide assistance to all citizens. I, I, I leave the rest in your hands. Eliminating the raptures is your top priority. The... P Pilgrim will be arriving soon, so I'm hanging up now. <sighs> Papillon.